Welcome back. So we are on fractions. There's a word problem question on fraction. The question is, Akwesi spends one out of three, that is one third of his monthly income on rent, one fourth on food, and one fifth on clothes. If he is left with 390 Ghana cities, find a, the total fraction spent on rent, food, and clothes. B, find his fraction which is left. And then C, find his monthly income. Now, to solve a question like this, what you have to do first is to write down the data, okay, from the question. Write down the data. Let's do that. So from the question, we are talking about Agassiz's monthly income, which was not indicated. So, his monthly income, his monthly income, we don't know. So, let's represent it with Y, okay? You can use any letter at all. Now, fraction spent on rent is what? One third. So, rent rent is one third of what the income so one third of y and then food is what one fourth so food one fourth of the income which is what y and then clothes is what one fifth so clothes let me write it here it's one fifth of the income, which is what? Y. Now we know he is left with 390 Ghana cities after spending the money. So income left. Income left is 390 Ghana cities. Income left is 390 Ghana cities. And the first question says, find the total fraction spent on rent, food, and clothes. So, A. The total fraction spent on rent, food, and clothes. So, you're going to add all the fractions spent, which is 1 over 3 divided by 1 out of 4 and then 1 out of 5. So, total fraction Total fraction is one third plus one fourth plus one fifth. Okay. Now over here you find LCM for three, four, and five. What is the LCM for three, four, and five? Do it and tell me. That one is what? 60. Okay, so the LCM 60. 3, 60 divided by 3 is what? 20. So you multiply that one by the numerator 1. 60 divided by 4 is what? 15. Multiply that by the numerator 1. 60 divided by 5 is what? 60 divided by 5 gives you what? <laughs> okay, 12. So you multiply by 1. Okay, let's proceed. So 20 multiply 1, multiply 15, multiply 12. So we have 20 plus 15 plus 12, all divided by 60. So when you add them up, they gives you what? 47 divided by 60. So this becomes the fraction spent on rent, food, and clothes. Okay, rent, food, and clothes. Now, let's move on to the B. What fraction is left? What fraction is left? 
let me clean here so that we get more space what fraction is left now B we got to know that the total fraction gained is what 47 out of 60 okay good so to get the fraction left let one which is a whole number be the total fraction okay so we are using one to represent the total fraction because in mathematics fraction means part of a whole so if you are having these amount of money spent in terms of fraction it means they are all part of what one which is a whole okay so we have one as a whole and we want to know the fraction left meanwhile we know that the fraction spent is what 47 out of 60 okay so we are going to take that 47 out of 60 from the whole okay which is the one so that one will be one minus 47 out of 60 okay and 1 minus 47 out of 60 if you know it will confuse you just divide your whole number by 1 hmm? let's find the LCM for 1 and 60 it is what 60 okay good so 60 divided by 1 is what 60 you multiply it by the whole number the numerator 1 minus 60 divided by 60 gives you what 1 multiply by the numerator 47 okay so now we have um, sixty minus forty seven all divided by sixty and sixty you subtract forty seven from it will give you what thirteen over sixty. So the thirteen over sixty becomes the fraction which is left. So this is the fraction that he didn't spend. And that one is equivalent to 390 Ghana cities because we are told that if he is left with 390 Ghana cities, so it means there is some amount of money left, which is 390 Ghana cities. And that one is equivalent to the fraction, what? 13 over 60 or 13 divided by 60. And now we are asked to find his monthly income, his monthly income. We mean we are going to find his total income that he got within the month. Okay, so let me clean this side and let's solve that too. In order to know his monthly income, something must help us. Mm? So we've got to know that this 13 out of 60 that we got is the fraction left. And that one is that one uh, 13 divided by 60 represents what 390 Ghana cities. Okay, so if 13 out of 60, 13 over 60 of the total amount of money, which is represented by what y, hmm? if 13 over 60 of the total income gives you the 390. Ghana cities, hmm? then we can find the total amount of money. Do you see the concept? We've got to know that his fraction which is left is 13 out of 60. And that fraction represents the amount of money here, which is left. And that one is what? 390. So if 13 out of 60 of the total income hmm, is 390, then we can find the income. Okay. So we have 13 out of 60y equal to 390. And this is in a form of fraction. So to be able to solve it, this 13y is dividing 60. So the next thing to do is to multiply each term by the LCM. 
because this is in an equation this is not in an expression okay the previous ones we did which we found the lcm we underline it and we write the lcm because it was in an expression form but this is in an equation form because we have equal sign here okay and we have one uh, term here we have another term here so when you find the lcm you multiply the lcm by each side mm -hmm. so here we have only one fraction 60 assuming 390 is divided by what one okay so the LCM is 60, you multiply it by each term. So you have 60 multiplying 13y over 60 equal to 390 multiplying 60. Okay, so this 60 divides this 60, it will be 1. 1 multiplying 13y is what? 13y equal to... 390 times what? 60. 390 times 60. And that one gives us what? 23,400. 23,400. So, we want Y. That is the amount of money he gets monthly. We don't want 13Y. So in order to get your y, what you're going to do is, this 13 is multiplying the y. So you divide, mm, you divide this one by the number multiplying the y. And because it is in an equation form, whatever you do to the left hand side, you have to do the same thing to the right hand side, okay? So when you divide 13y by 13, you have to divide this one to what? By 13. So we have... 13y divided by 13 equal to 23,400 divided by 13. So this 13 can now take off the 13 because 13 divided by 13 is 1. 1 multiply y is what? y. Okay, so you have y here. And then 23,400 divided by 13 gives you what? We have 1,800. So 1,800 becomes his monthly income. Okay? Becomes his monthly income. But what you have here is what? Y equals to 1,800. And although you describe it from your data that his monthly income, you have represented it with Y, you have to conclude. Okay? You have to conclude. So by conclusion, you say that his monthly income his monthly income is add the currency okay is 1800 ghana cities 1800 ghana cities If this is your first time of being here, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and press the notification bell so that anytime new videos are uploaded, you'll be the first to know.